When I tell, when I say things, the press doesn't cover it accurately. They cover it very inaccurately, much of the press. Some of the press, by the way, some of the finest people I know are reporters. Reporters are wonderful. I'm talking about the fake media, the fake news. And there's a lot of fake news. Well, it seems like the sky has been falling every day since last November's election, yet somehow the sky never actually lands, we've noticed. America's premier news outlets hype every story as a huge deal, only for each to be discarded like trash when a younger, more attractive story comes along. Well, now one writer is holding the press to account. Renee James is her name, and she's the founder of TwoWeeksAgoNews.com. The website's purpose is to remind you of all the stories that were super important just two weeks ago, and yet that you cannot remember now because maybe they weren't that important. Renee James, who is doing America a service, joins us tonight. Renee, I love the idea of this site. It's just, it's so fantastic because even in the news business, it's like, wait, we are supposed to mourn the end of democracy when that happened. Now I can't remember the details. <laughs> so what should we have remembered but didn't for the last month? Oh, gosh, there's a lot, Tucker. Um, so what we try to do is pick the thing that was really all over social media, whether it was Twitter or Facebook or what have you, yeah. and really just try to sort through, because there's a lot, like you said, there's an awful lot. We try to sort through, but you know, one of our favorites was the Nordstrom story, right? How we all had to stop shopping at Nordstrom right away <laughs> because they carried Ivanka Trump products, and that's yes. a bad thing. So it was enormous, it was outrageous, it was constant, and it was effective. I mean, Nordstrom said, got it, got it, got it, got it, we're dropping everything. Now, I don't know why they did, but they did. And the question is this, fine, you don't have to stop at Nordstrom, you don't have to buy her line, it's all fine. But no one said any, more anything about Bloomingdale's. Nobody said anything about Lord & Taylor. Nobody said anything about DSW. Nobody said anything about Bye Bye Baby. Nobody said anything about Bed Bath & Beyond. No. Like all these people are involved. So what is the, it's, it's just disingenuous and it's, it knows? seems to me, I don't, I don't get it. So there's well, the story. I've for forgotten yeah. about Nordstrom Gate entirely. What else have I forgotten about? How, how could you forget? I don't how know. could you forget Nordstrom? Um, you do remember how he asked women to wear a dress, right? Everybody had to dress like yeah. a woman. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Okay, that was a very big deal. I was deeply <laughs> upset about it. Yeah, I vaguely because, remember that. Because, because it was more than two weeks ago, so that's ancient history. But when it was two weeks old, we talked about it, and you know that was again enormous and on Facebook you know women were outraged and the truth of it is it's a very odd statement to make I get that it, it's a very sort of sexist statement it's, it's a very sort of you don't understand why he made it so I, you know we thought well when did he make it when did he say something so ridiculous and, and misguided we looked and 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 you know what he didn't okay oh. it was somebody <laughs> Maybe heard that's why I didn't and remember. somebody Maybe, maybe that's why you didn't remember it. We and it was somebody who heard that he that. said, and da, da 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 And I just thought, you know, it's fine if it's sort of that, but you know what? He didn't say it. So I, I concede that, you know, saying it was dumb or even having that right. thought is probably, probably not smart. If everybody else will concede that we have no idea what the dress code is in the White House. Okay, so I wreck my fair, night. Right? Wreck my night, Renee. Tell me one more story. <laughs> that I was one, really upset about one. but can't recall now because I'm getting old. Do you remember that the world was ending because the White House stopped talking to the press, right? Yeah. Everybody I was that. kicked out. Everybody was kicked out. That was a very big deal. Right. Okay. I haven't heard one word since about anybody being kicked out. But you I know mean, what? Maybe though? I'm missing it. I'll be totally but, honest. <laughs> I remember where I was when that happened. It was like the JFK yeah. assassination. Yeah. It was like when Princess Di died. <laughs> That was a big moment for me. <laughs> Renee, thank you for remembering, bit, even if the agent welcome. among us can't. Great to see you tonight. It's, uh, you're welcome. Thanks, Tucker.